Are you tired of people not taking you seriously because your domain's something like mytradingcardgame.wix.com or .wordpress.com, .blogger.com, whatever the case be? And then in order to get rid of those names, you actually have to pay a very overpriced fee, something like $20 a month or something ridiculous? If so, I'm going to show you how to make a website for less than $40 a year. That's right, an entire website for an entire year for just 40 bucks. This will give you your own domain name. You'd be the absolute sole owner of the website. There's no way they can like lock you out or stuff like that and more. Keep in mind that the startup cost may be a little bit more expensive depending on how you want to go about doing that, but for the most part it's going to be around $40. You can make it a little less by changing the domain name, you can make it a little bit more by choosing a better theme for the website and stuff like that. It really depends on you, but I'm going to give you all the options in this video. I'm Zyphine by the way, the owner of TCG News, and this video will teach you how to make a cheap website without having a dot something dot com in its name. Just your own card game dot com. It's really simple, really easy. This video is going to show you how to do it, so bear with me. The absolute first thing you're going to need to do is head over to namecheap.com. This is where you will buy your very first domain name. And what a domain name is, is literally just whatever your website is dot something. You can do dot com, dot news, dot net, dot triple x if you really want to go that route. It really just depends on what you want and how much you're willing to pay for it. Now that you're in namecheap.com, go ahead and type in the name that you want. Then look at all the TLDs and choose one that you'd like. If you want something more professional, go ahead and go with .com. If you want something more unique and easy to stand out and dabble with, then just check out all the domains that they actually have available. For example, if you want to check out TCG News website, you can go to cardgame.news. It's not a .com, but it stands out and it will be easy for people to remember, which is a huge, huge thing when coming up with your domain name. On the topic of cardgame.news, if you do go ahead and check it out, it will We'll have all the updates and links to everything we do from our Gilded server to giveaways, events, podcasts, and more. Now back to this tutorial. Once you find out what domain you want, you will have to register your account, pay for the domain, and then you'll be prompted to a page like this. If not, just click on your profile, then click dashboard, and you will see your domain name. Go ahead and just click on that and keep this page up because we will go back to it later on. Now you're going to need to go to hawkhost.com. Please go ahead and click on the link in the description. It'll take you there and it'll also help me out as well. Once you're there, go ahead and click on the shared hosting see prices list. And yes, they do in fact start at just $2.99 a month. And it comes with unlimited bandwidth, blog posts, and anything else you're going to need. Do you see now why Wix and WordPress.com are overpriced? Anyway, click see plans for the shared hosting. You can buy the professional if you'd like. However, off the bat, you really only need the primary. If you run out of disk space in the future, you can always upgrade it and they'll just charge you the difference in pay. So I'd like to suggest just using the primary for now. Hit sign up. Choose I will use my existing domain and update my name servers. Put in your domain name you just bought and fill out the rest of the the information. When you get to the checkout page, don't check out yet. Search online for any coupons. I have a link in the description, which I use personally, that actually took off 30% of reoccurring payments, which is what you want to look for is reoccurring discounts, as that will save you a lot in the long run compared to just a little bit upfront right now. From there, you're going to get an email with all the information on your new hosting. Look for the name servers in that email. It should look something like ns1.hawkos.com and ns2.hawkos.com. Com. If not, simply click on support and client area when you're at a uh, hawk host then just log in, click on services, click on your domain name, and then you will see your no name servers right there, just like what's on the page right now. Now go back to the name cheap, click manage on your domain name, if you haven't already, then look for name servers. Click on the drop down for the name cheap basic DNS, click custom DNS, and fill out the name servers accordingly. After you're done, click on the check mark and you're officially done with name cheap, you can now exit out of that page completely. For me, I'm going to have to add the domain manually, so so I'll go ahead and throw this up if you ever need to add an actual like nether website to your hosting plan you can just follow this step if not skip to the next step go to your hawk host and click C panel search for domains click on the domains and then click create a new domain then enter your domain name uncheck the shared documents if you don't do this then it will act as your main website if you uncheck it it will act as its own website and that ends this step if you've actually done this then you can actually skip the first part of the next step because we're actually going to go through and explain everything we just explained now up to the cPanel part. For the next step, go back to Hawk Host and click cPanel. Now you should see find functions quickly by typing here in the top of the screen. 
type in SSL, then click on Let's Encrypt SSL. If it's not scanning already, click on Run SSL. If it is scanning, just wait. Wait until that's good, and then you should be able to see a green padlock on the domain names. If not, it'll have a red cross. You want to keep refreshing it until it finally has the green padlock icon. Once it's green, you can click cPanel on the top left of the screen. This means you have a secure website now. So when people go to your website, it'll redirect to HTTPS and will show a padlock so people know that your website is safe and secure. Now, scroll all the way down and you should see WordPress. Click on that, click install now. Make sure your protocol is HTTPS. I'd recommend doing it without the www, but it's all up to you, honestly, if you want to do it or not. And then make sure you have the domain that you want selected and the end directory part, delete that and keep it blank. If not, the people won't be able to access your website without going to yourdomain.com slash whatever's in that actual spot. For example, it's WP off the bat, so they wouldn't be able to go to your website until they typed in yourdomain.com slash WP. Then after you're done with all that, simply fill out your site name, your site description, and your username and password, then click install. Here you can also choose a theme if you want to go the free route and just use one of these themes and edit it off of that. But for this, I'm going to install an actual theme. Once you hit install, wait for it to fully done, get done, and then you will have two links. You will have the normal website link and then a website link slash wp-admin. That's what you're gonna wanna click is the wp-admin. Slash wp-admin is the area you will need to go whenever you need to edit your website. Simply by going to your domain dot whatever slash wp-admin will take you there. Now that you're in your admin area, you can now start to edit your website. And that's about it for the hard part. Next, you can go through and customize your website however you'd like using the admin panel you're currently in. I'll be creating an entire course for this eventually, which will cover how to get cool themes, download free themes, make new pages, post on your blog post, create a blog, etc. If you needed more help, do not hesitate to hop on gilda.gg slash tcg and ask me on there. I'd be more than happy to help you out there. If this video was helpful, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon, do three backflips, flick your partner in the forehead, and anything else you think of to help YouTube showcase us to more people so we can help them out as well.